This is a quick lesson to show how to install source control software. Installing these programs is optional, but I really recommend you do it. You'll need to know how to use source control if you're going to be a professional programmer, and it's still extremely useful for beginning programmers. Source control lets you check in or save versions of your program in a repository. When you make a change to your program and you're done testing it and everything looks good, then you can save that version to your repository. Then the next time you work on the program, if you have a problem, you can always revert or roll back your code to the previous version. Then you can try to make the change again. The source control program I'm going to use is Subversion. There are several other source control programs you can use. A popular one is GitHub, which keeps your repository on their servers online. However, I'm going to start with Subversion because I think it's the simplest to use. I like to use Tortoise SVN. It's a version with a few extra features. You can get it by going to this URL. They have a 32-bit OS version and a 64-bit OS. You probably have a 64-bit OS unless you're using an older tablet computer. Just click on the button to download it, save the MSI file, and then open the directory where you saved the file. Double click on it. And this is a very simple installation. You just click next, 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 and finish. The second source control program I install is Visual SVN. This is a little plugin that works in Visual Studio that makes it even easier to work with Subversion. You can go to this link, click the download now, save the installer file, and then run the Visual SVN MSI file. Again, it's a really simple one. You just click next, 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 finish, and that's it. Once we start writing the program, I'll show you how to create the repository, how to save updates to it, and how to do a revert so you can undo your changes.